Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the MIUI 9.5 Global Stable Update on your Redmi Note 5 manually without unlocking the bootloader. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this process is only for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5, which is the Indian variant, not the Chinese Redmi Note 5. So this is only for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Indian. And you also need the Xiaomi tool. So this is what I have installed. Uh, so I will give the link down below in the description. You can just install it. It's uh, just a normal setup.exe file. And we also need the original Xiaomi cable. So yeah, make sure you uh, like do this process with the original Xiaomi cable. Now just let's start directly. Uh, now what you have to do is just open the Xiaomi tool. And yes. I can see okay I understood you just need to let like just click here so it will check the internet connection and yes internet connection is also uh, should be also there to download the firmware which is the 9.5 firmware and uh, yeah you can also ma manually do it but I don't know where to place that so if you know you can just place that ROM there and just you can directly go so now you just need to connect your devices so I will just connect my device quickly so the device has been connected and you can see I got this message after connecting allow USB debugging so I just need to press ok and you can see focusing on the computer screen uh, you will get this ok so just close your close this shit and just wait for the Xiaomi tool so after some time our device has been detected as you can see you get device redmi note 5 and if it shows unauthorized just again allow it and just refresh it and now you just need to select device and select and now it's processing rom installation process wipes everything of the device as i told you earlier it will wipe everything in the device so please make a backup of your internal storage okay i understood and it's processing again and now your device will uh, boot into like uh, download mode uh, or first in fast boot mode to make sure it's working properly you can see uh, and if it also look if it lock or not locked so yeah unlocked or locked so yeah it will take a look at everything here now after booting your device it will again ask if your device has been authorized so just enter the password and you just need to click again here allow USB debugging and refresh now it's processing and it will again boot into uh, the recovery mode now uh, as you can see uh, the process is automatic so no need of you can see it will boot into recovery mode so you just need to wait for this it boots every time and then now as you can see the device is automatically booted into recovery mode and on the screen it shows the device is rebooting to recovery mode if you see a menu just choose connect to mi assistant so use your power down menu uh, your power down buttons and just press the power button when you see this connect with mi assistant now it's processing again And after some time you will see a screen like this again so it's see it's checking the status so it takes some time to check and now it will start giving us the fast boot and recovery roms now after some time you will see uh, this screen that uh, fast boot roms obtained and it will also obtain the recovery roms and it will show you a different screen afterwards so after some time you can see this screen uh, you can see a uh, the global stable, the global developer, the China developer and the China stable. So you can see here the bootloader unlock required is no. Means you can flash this on a locked bootloader too. And you can see the version is MIUI 9.5 for both of the global stable and the China stable. So you can choose anything. So I will choose the global stable here. Like if you are doing with your Redmi Note 5. It's okay you can choose China stable too. Doesn't matter. So you can see official ROMs. Flash, wash stock recovery. So confirm. 
and now it will just prepare to download so it will uh, it's according to your internet speed so mine is uh, 5 mbps but it's showing really a weak speed so yeah it will take some time so let's see afterwards like after the rom gets downloaded so guys after the rom has been installed it will show this uh, preparing stock recovery installation and here you need to okay if uh, you get this error again just retry just click on this retry button and here on your uh, smartphone you will see this allow uh, USB debugging so just allow it again keep retrying uh, and now you can see my device has been booting into recovery so it will automatically do it so just keep your device aside now you can see uh, now it has no errors so the error was because uh, I had removed my device for some time so if you had also removed this you will get the same thing because it didn't detect the device so that's why and uh, now you can see it's processing you just need to connect to MI assistant so same way you just need to choose down and just connect and now it has uh, started the stock recovery flashing so you can see the stock recovery flash is running and uh, it will take some time to complete the full 100% process so I will just skip some parts of this video now so you can see uh, I got this uh, finishing stock recovery installation as it completed 900% and uh, so you can see uh, on the MI logo I am getting this so if this completes uh, then uh, I will be able to boot so you can see a uh, installation process is finished and it was a success uh, first boot of device will take 15 minutes so yeah so the installation is completed now let's see uh, after uh, our device boots what version like is it really get uh, is that is that really getting installed or not so i will just close this also. so guys while setting up you will need to verify your account so whichever the last account you are using on this device you need to enter it so guys the device just booted up and it took like four to five minutes so and the extra day went in the setup screen where it setup completes and it just verifies those like whatever it does with the apps and now you can see uh, let's go to about phone first to check if it's MIU and uh, yes it's MIU 9.5 stable you can see uh, 9.5.3.0 and EG MIFA stable and you can see the model number and other things and let's go back let's see what extra uh, stuff is here okay yes full screen display now available for the global stable so you can see uh, learn gestures uh, learn and you can see you can learn this gestures like how to use them so yeah uh, let me just focus it bottom and pause so this is your uh, recent apps and swipe from the right edge and swipe from the left edge so this is the back button like thing okay yes okay let's see so it's still that much laggy whichever uh, like the same lag I'm facing uh, on the global stable too so I was in global developer before and now I'm facing the lag still here so this is the full screen display lag and you can see the notifications are also uh, categorized neatly now like not like the last time if you want to categorize the notifications and it was very uh, like the notification thing was very uh, like uh, very bad like we cannot like see individual notifications and yes this is how the MIUI 9.5 is stable one with the full screen gesture so I hope you guys like this video and you can install the MIUI 9.5 in your Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 plus so that's it guys for the video if you want more videos on the Redmi Note 5 uh, you can just subscribe to my channel and goodbye guys I will see you guys in the next video till then bye bye I'm gonna get